Now what I'm going to demonstrate with the tech table is how you can terminate unloaded panels or unloaded jacks like this one here. This is an AMP NetConnect uh, Category 6 jack using the uh, cable quick form up guide. Just need to make sure that you're using the CAT5E or CAT6 form up guide. You've also got a, a 6A form up guide. So that just sits into place there. Got your short thumb screws and just secure it. So what you're going to need to terminate this is the uh, what they call the AMP SL tool. Uh, many different vendors have different types of these uh, hand crimping tools. Got your wire cutters, wire stripper, marking pen. You've also got everything laid out nice and neat using this tool tray. You've got the little covers that you need to slot on before you terminate these which clip onto the back of the jack as you'll see later. And obviously your jack as well. You've got your 24 cables already tied off and secured using the tech table. I've also got here, uh, this is how what I use is just a little uh, canvas bag here that's tied to the centre so as you're stripping you can just be dropping your waste in there so you don't have to worry about mess going everywhere and it's nice and easy to contain that whilst terminating. So all we do then is start to go through and form up the, uh, the panel, just one at a time. As you can see using this form up guide it is nice and simple and quick to clip that into place and leave it there so you're getting that nice constant waterfall effect of the cable spilling off nice and neat and consecutive. As you can see, in a matter of uh, matter of uh, minutes, you've just formed up a 24-port patch paddle. Got it nice and consecutive. Stays there while you're terminating. So it's a much quicker way to do it, and it's a much more consistent way to do it. Also, when you're training up new technicians, uh, it's a lot quicker to train up time. You should get a nice consecutive patch panel from the first termination. There's no excuse to not have a nicely formed up and consecutive patch panel. Okay, now that's all formed up, uh, nice and quick way to do it is use this front lip here of the uh, form up guide as your mark for your strip back point. And the uh, edge of the tech table here as your cutting point. That way they're all uh, cut perfectly to the same size and the same strip length. Now all nice and neat and trimmed. 
Now go through the process of stripping back each one of the cables using your uh, cable stripper. Now they're all stripped back at that uh, precise level. Now what you've got is this SL tool um, that it's all ready to, uh, to, to crimp using that. Just unlatch it, it springs open and you can get the little guide out. Now the guide is what you dress the cables into and you've got uh, two different types of uh, configuration here, your A and B termination, um, depending on, uh, on what, uh, I guess, uh, area you're going to be terminating. That just springs open. Dress the cables in. Make sure they slot in nice and comfortably there. Now, slot that jack into place, push it in. Open now. Make sure that that's all lined up and compress that. As you'll see, it'll terminate it and do the cutting at the same time. Release. Nice and firm. Sometimes they get a bit tight. And open it up. See it's all nice and terminated, they're all punched in nice and neat. Cover then goes over, clips into place, and you continue through to terminate the rest of them. Now the beauty of having the uh, tech table at this waist height, it allows the technician to, uh, if their legs get tired, simple addition of a stool here, sit down, and continue on with that workflow. So rotating between standing and seating positions throughout the shift is increasing that productivity and it's increasing that comfort level for the technician whilst they're terminating as well.
These crimping tools are a really handy little tool. They make it so much more comfortable for the technicians and means that you're not having to use the 110 tool and punch down 192 times for every patch panel. You just crimp it in one go, nice and neat. Less force on the technician's wrists and hands. Handy little die. Very comfortable. There you have all the 24 jacks have now been terminated. You then have the, uh, the face plate that the jacks clip into before you put it into the equipment rack into its final location. Just clips into place. Start from one end. Sure they're nice and secured. And lucky last, you've got that uh, final terminated patch panel all ready to uh, dress into its final location within the equipment rack. And there you have the uh, use of the uh, tech table, the quick form up guide and the crimping tools to terminate the unloaded patch panel. Nice, quick, simple and easy.